Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. In this session, I'm going to provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to install a Cisco CSR1000 virtual router on EVNG. For those of you who are not familiar with EVNG, it's a clientless multi-vendor emulation piece of software. There are a couple of prerequisites to this lab, which I'll go through now. Number one, you need an installed version of EVNG the free community edition will work just fine and that can be downloaded off their website. Number two, you'll need a Cisco account with the correct privileges to download the ISO image. And number three, some type of FTP software. So let's begin. So first we'll log into Eve NG. Then we'll go over to the plus symbol, hit that and go over to nodes. And what we'll see here is a list of active devices with the software installed. Everything at this point is actually grayed out because it's a fresh install of EVNG. We can see from the list, there's a reference down here to uh, the Cisco 1000V virtual router. This is what we'll be installing in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and download the image from the Cisco support portal. I've already logged in and navigated to where the software is located. In this case, we'll be downloading the latest recommended release in the 17.x train and the actual file required will be the ISO type. So let's go ahead and give that a minute to download. That's the file right there. Hit download, accept the license agreement, and that should start any minute. There we go. Now that we have downloaded our image file, the next step will be to create an SSH session with EVNG. In this case, I'll use PuTTY to do this. Let's go ahead and do that now that screen a little larger and we'll log in with the root credentials once that's established let's create a temporary working directory called CSR 1000 this will be where we create our disk image and install the ISO file let's go ahead and do that and we'll change the directory to that newly created folder. There we go. We'll just confirm there's nothing in there, which there isn't. Next, we'll use our FTP software to upload the ISO to the temp directory. So we'll just connect to EVNG via this. There we go. And we can see the CSR1000 folder which we created is available. So we'll just go into that. And what we'll do is we'll copy the ISO file into that folder. That's done. Next, let's create a disk for the CSR install. The name of the disk will be vert IOA. It will be in the QCAL2 format and will be 8 gig in size. So I'll just copy the command to do that. We'll hit enter. And that's created the disk. Now let's start the CSR installation. Again, I'll copy the command. It's quite a long command, so what I'll do is I'll link it in the description so you don't have to actually type it out. Now let's hit enter and this should start the installation process. On the screen that appears, hit the second option, the CSR 1000V serial console and hit enter. This should start the installation process running.
This may take a little while, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then return once it's completed. Once completed, what you'll notice, it'll go back to the original installation screen. What we need to do now is very important. Select the second option and use the following keystrokes. Control and A together, and then C. Then we'll type in quit. And what this will do is it'll quit the installation process and return to the SSH prompt. There we go. We'll just clear the screen. Now that we've completed the installation, the next step will be to create a new CSR image target directory. And what I'll do is I'll just copy that and paste that across. So we'll make a new directory with the name of the um, ISO image. However, what you'll notice is that instead of just V, we put VNG. Now, this is very important. If you just leave it as CSR 1000V, um, you may find that when booting the router, you won't have any interfaces. So it's very important that you get this correct. So let's hit enter. So that's created that directory. Next, what we'll do is we'll move the disk image from the temporary directory to the target directory. I'll just copy that across. There we go. We'll remove the temporary folder and its contents. So we'll come out the directory and we'll remove it. And finally, what we'll do is we'll fix the permissions. Now we'll add the CSR router to a lab, boot from the image and verify that everything is working as it should. So we'll go over to the EVNG webpage, go to add an object, add a node. And what you'll notice now is the CSR 1000V option is available. So we'll click on that. Uh, you'll notice is the image that we installed, 17.3.3. .3. It's got four NICs and using four gig of RAM. Save that. And we'll start the node. Click on it once, open up a session and just increase the size of the screen. This may take a little while to boot up. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and return when it gets to the login prompt. So we'll just run some verification commands. Seventeen dot three dot three. And 
we've got four interfaces. There we go. And There we go. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more upcoming content.